Good afternoon with everyone. My name is Ana Portilla Aguila and I'm studying administration at National University of Moquegua. And today I'm going to help you with English, the basic English. And today we are going to do a practice about the last video. Uh, we are going to make some questions in present simple and then um, we are going to learn how to use the do or does. Okay, okay, let's start. Today we are going to, we are going to talk about free time. In this case, how I said, um, we are going to use the cues to write questions. For example, in the number one we have, um, go to the movies uh, Saturday. And remember that in a question or to write a question, it's important to know um, the, the grammar, for example. Um, first, we use the auxiliar, do or does, plus the subject, plus verb, plus complement. It's important to follow uh, this order. And so in this case, we don't have um, a specific subject. So we can say, do you go to the movies on Saturday? Uh, remember that in present simple, we can use do or does in questions. In this case, we use do because of the subject is you. And the next, number two, get up, eight o'clock and the weekend. Uh, in this case, we also don't have uh, the subject, so we can say, we can use do or does. In this case, I use do. Do you get up at 8 o'clock on the weekend? Okay, first we have do, that is the auxiliar, then plus uh, the subject, you, plus the verb, get up, que es levantarse, and the complement at 8 o'clock on the weekend in question obviously then we have number three watch tv sunday mornings the same case we can use do or does because here we don't have um we don't have uh, the subject so i use do do they watch tv on sunday morning First, here we have um, the same auxiliar do, but the subject change. I didn't use um, the subject you. In this case, I change it with they. But it's the same because remember that we are going to use do, um, the auxiliar do, um, when the subject is uh, I, you, we, they. And thus, we are going to use thus when the subject is he, she, or it. Okay, the next one. Take a nap, afternoon, and weekend. I use do. Do you take a nap in the afternoon or weekend? Uh, the auxiliar plus the subject plus the verb and the complement. Then the last one. Eat out weekend. In this case, I use does. No, make an example. For example, does she eat out on weekend? In this case, I use does because of the subject. It's in third person. Okay. And eat out is the verb. Then on weekend is the complement. Eh, la pregunta número uno, básicamente, este, en español es lo mismo, ¿no? En español tal vez no varía el do o el das, ¿no? No es que el das signifique una cosa y el do signifique otra, sino que es, este, es, son reglas que se utilizan en el inglés en el presente simple. En este caso, en la primera pregunta nos dice, este, ¿tú vas a ver películas este, los sábados? Do you go to the movies on Saturday? No, una pregunta. Do you get up at 8 o'clock on the weekend? ¿Te despiertas a las 8 en punto los fines de semana? Este, ¿Ellos miran la televisión los domingos por la mañana? La siguiente. Do you take a nap 
in the afternoon or weekend. Tomas un descanso, tú tomas un descanso este, en la tarde, los fines de semana. Y la última, does she eat out on weekend? Ella este, sale a comer los fines de semana. Eso básicamente son las preguntas. Y esto es la parte de otros usos que también se le dan al do or does. World focus. Number one. Ana goes to the movies on Saturday, and so does Sebastian. We use uh, so, so does, or so do, to connect two affirmative sentences. In this case, uh, Ana goes to the movie, and Sebastian makes the same action. ¿No? En español quiere decir que utilizamos el so does o so do cuando queremos conectar dos oraciones afirmativas. ¿no? En este primer caso estamos diciendo que Ana va a ver películas los sábados. De la misma manera este, Sebastián ¿no? o también Sebastián. En vez de estar repitiendo toda la oración, solo ponemos and so does Sebastián. El does recuerde que es para tercera persona, cuando tenemos he, she o it. En este caso estamos hablando de un chico, que es he, por eso utilizamos does. Um, then, is in negative, Anna goes to the movies on Saturday, but Sebastian doesn't. Doesn't, in negative, ¿no? En este caso, Anna va a, a ver las películas los sábados, pero Sebastián no. ¿No? En este caso no estamos otra vez repitiendo todo de nuevo, sino que simplemente lo reducimos en doesn't, ¿no? Como que él no lo hace o él no. And then we have Anna doesn't go to the movies on Saturday, but Sebastian does. And it's important to know that we are using but when the sentences are different. Como pueden darse cuenta en este, primer, en este segundo caso, este es diferente, ya no ambas son hasta afirmativas sino que la primera es afirmativa y la segunda es negativa, entonces utilizamos but, like a contraction. Then, in the third one is the same. Anna doesn't go to the movies, but Sebastian does. Negative with affirmative. Anna doesn't go to the movies on Saturday, and neither does Sebastian. In this case, uh, we use neither do or does to connect two negative sentences. In this case, Anna doesn't go to the movies. Negative. And neither does Sebastian. Esto quiere decir que Anna no va a ver películas los sábados, tampoco Sebastián o ni Sebastián. ¿No? Ambas son dos oraciones negativas. Y utilizamos el conector neither. Neither does or neither do. En este caso does porque se trata de la tercera persona y es un chico. Y eso es todo. Espero que sea de gran ayuda. Thank you for your attention.